Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get started right away. What do we have? What I see was a rose. I just saw a rose. So when I see a rose, it means romance is in the air. So, yeah, I got some comments yesterday about, oh, you didn't pick those up. Obviously, I saw that when I, when I, when I rewatched it. But thanks for telling me. Anyhow, um, but I saw it too. Okay, so what do we have? What do we have for today? Whew! Page of Cups. Page of Cups is an expression, a, a feeling, okay? This is a welcome message, a message of love, uh, emotional support. This could be an admirer or a crush or somebody that is expressing their feelings. This is happy news. Could be whatever this is the news of something it could be the news of a birth or a pregnancy or whatever it is um but this is somebody showing their feelings based on their intuition okay so there is going to be um it could be a very flirtatious energy put it that way somebody has their uh eye on somebody by the looks of things and they're probably going to send a very kind message or a happy message or it's a whatever it is it's good news okay this is good news arriving i thought one flipped it's not Ooh, seven of pentacles reversed so seven of pentacles reversed something is uh, there's no more growth somewhere. There's no more growth. It's time to go someplace else. This is like a dead end. Uh, planting seeds. Now something could be coming back around that you dealt with some time ago. Maybe somebody didn't invest. Maybe it was bad timing or something like that. Ooh, somebody's been watching. They're definitely interested. Now, this is like uh, a watcher. Somebody's been watching. They're curious. Very, very curious. So there's definitely a message that is coming. It may make you feel conflicted. It may make you feel uneasy. This person has been watching. They have been waiting to, waiting for the right moment to communicate. Here comes some sort of communication. Definitely. Now, with the Page of Swords, uh, it could be difficult. This person may have a difficult time communicating, okay? They may have a difficult time. They may be, maybe they have some fear or something, or they got to come with some sort of truth or something. They, get, they know they're going to have to speak up, and there's, it's difficult. It's difficult. Um, but I think there's going to be some direct communication uh, that is coming, Knight of Wands reverse. There's definitely been a delay. There's been some sort of fear. This person's been thinking about it. Instead of acting recklessly, they've been thinking really hard, watching. Almost like doing an investigation, kind of. Doing research. Not wanting to make any decisions on the fly. So this person is about to send a message, but has been really thinking about it. Is this realistic? Is this not realistic? You know, should I invest in this or should I not? So it's basically they've been doing their research, not wanting to make any stupid decisions. Perhaps things move too fast in the past with that Knight of Wands, typically in the upright. That's fast. Things moving too fast. Um, mm, Four of Pentacles now holding on. Stubbornness. Maybe working, you know, working on their, their finances, working on their financial stability, wanting stability. This person wants stability, wants something stable, is a hard worker. Doesn't want somebody that is uh, flighty. So they have, some have been doing research, wanting to make sure that they were making the right decision. Yeah, 
Hard worker. We definitely have a hard worker here. Somebody that work, 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 work. But maybe this person been focusing on their work. That's why they couldn't invest in a relationship or they couldn't invest in uh, opening up. Somebody was focusing on their job, focusing on their financial problems or their or their business or something like that. Wanting to make sure that they make the right decision, they get themselves involved with somebody who also is a worker, you know, that has the same kind of ideals. There's definitely um, a research. Somebody has done their research. They've done it and they've worked, especially at night. At night, I think they've been, maybe they've been stalking at night and, you know, researching at night, working really hard and then to the night hours. Um wanting to make sure that they're making a very practical decision. <laughs> Interesting. This is putting in effort. Somebody's about to put in effort. They're about to feels like they're going to make a call or something. <laughs> 9 of cups reversed. So that's somebody that's dissatisfied, not happy. Feeling like they lost a dream or something. Dying dream. You know, some, there, it's like a wish wasn't fulfilled. So they're not happy. There's dissatisfaction here and dissatisfaction here. So somebody's really not happy with how something has probably ended or something like that. Or they're not happy with where they're at in their life. There's, they're not happy. It's work, 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 work. No play. Somebody's been working a lot. Work, 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 work. No play. Very unhappy with the current circumstances. Perhaps their money or their whatever is, is getting better, but they're looking for something more emotional, fo emotionally fulfilling. It's like I need, I need to, I need some love. So not feeling loved. Uh, Nine of Cups reversed. Now the Nine of Cups reversed can have a lot of different meanings. Um... Things are about to get better. I think something is a, a relationship is about to get better. If you've been single, you might be meeting somebody or, you know, you probably, you might not be single for long. If you've been sad or you've been alone or you've been feeling, um, and, and I feel like that is definitely the case. You've been, you know, just focusing on yourself. You've been working and nothing's been coming in. It feels like something is coming. Something is coming. Um, somebody's been watching and they, it feels like they've been watching at night mostly or investigating at night. Um, Knight of Cups reversed. Somebody could be fearful of rejection. You know, this both of these are not really taking action. But this is, it, it always goes like this. If you, I mean, in my eyes when I'm doing my reading. So I feel like in the past we have somebody that was, maybe they were emotionally unavailable. Maybe they were obsessed with their money. They were obsessed with um, their job or, uh, you know, had egotistical uh, ways. Because this is somebody that is greedy, is selfish, is a miser, very much focused on their money, wasn't emotionally available. But I feel like they're really unhappy now with those circumstances, you know. Uh, they're not having their needs met. They're not having their desires met, you know, whatever. In many more ways than one. So somebody was not looking for a relationship. Probably they were too greedy or selfish or whatever, or more focused on, you know, their money or their job. But now they've got something in sight. You know, they do. It's like now they, they got, this is interest. Now they're, it's like they're interested in something, but this is putting in effort. So what is this eight of pentacles putting in effort? Ah, ten of swords reversed. Now this is something that, uh, I think we talked about this yesterday. Um, coming back from the dead, something may be coming back from the dead. There, there could have something almost died. It almost ended, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Hmm. 
Yes, Eight of Cups reverse. Somebody is coming back around. It's Eight of Cups reverse with the Ten of Swords reverse. It's like this is not over yet. They want to come back and put in effort because they're not happy. They're not happy with what has happened. There's this unfinished business here. So somebody is coming back around. Perhaps they were pretending to be happy. Superficial, shallow. This could be an apology. Somebody could be apologizing for hurting another person. They're going to put in effort. They've been thinking about it. This is refusing to move on as well. The Eight of Cups reverse doesn't want to move on. So we have somebody here that has refused, been refusing to move on. Now this is an obsession as well. So I'm not, I mean this story, we could go all day with these cards and I could change the story a hundred times. We have somebody here that is also obsessed. Somebody is obsessed with their stalking. This is like stalking, watching, researching, wanting somebody to come back. They're not happy. So I'm just, I mean, just, you got to be careful here. You got to be careful because there is somebody here that is not happy. They're not happy that somebody has moved on. And, and, and so they're watching and they may be planning something because they're obsessed. They're obsessed with the relationship that is no more. They're really unhappy. So this is like a stalker. It is a stalker. So there's, there, I feel like there's a stalker here um, that wants somebody to come back. They, this is unrealistic. I mean, it is unrealistic. So somebody could be receiving a message from somebody that doesn't want them to move on. Okay? I mean, I'm not sure who that's for, but this could also be a loving message that somebody wants to put in effort. They are sorry. This could go multiple ways. Same thing. Same kind of message, right? Oh, yes. Judgment on the bottom. Reconciliation. Somebody wants another chance. They're ready to be judged. They're ready to, to uh, be held accountable. They're ready to speak the truth. They're maybe asking for forgiveness. This is a call. Judgment call. Maybe I said, I think somebody's going to be making a call. This is a call. Somebody may be getting a call from somebody or a wake-up call or an awakening or an epiphany. Somebody is making a decision based on the facts, based on the truth. There could also be a judgment being made, okay? Because this could be news of legalities as well. There could be a judgment that is being made or somebody has made a judgment call or they've uh, decided that they know the truth of a situation. The truth has come out. You know, if you think about a trial, you know, judgment about a trial, it's like you go through the trial and this is like an investigation of some sort. So it's like this is the end of the investigation, a decision has been made. So somebody has made a decision. A decision has been made. I feel like there is somebody that has hurt another person because the Ten of Swords is here. It was like a near-death experience or a very painful experience, but... Uh, it's, it's, there's been there's an element of you've survived, you've survived. Now it's, it's time to, it's almost like reconcile or rectify this situation. There could be a reconciliation here. Or somebody's asking for forgiveness. They've been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Here comes the message. There is a message that is coming and it may make you feel conflicted, which I saw. It's going to be like, a, yes, it's a heartfelt message, but it probably makes you feel conflicted. You know, whoever this person is, and it's funny because way back I said something about the truth and this is about the truth. This is something truth is being revealed. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. See, it feels like this is their true feelings. The truth is about to come out. This is no now this is like pretending somebody has been pretending to be happy they've been being fake okay Now the the knight of wands reversed is um a show off somebody has a chip on their shoulder that doesn't want responsibility 
This person that is a show off and doesn't want responsibility and has a chip on their shoulder and is overly competitive is not uh, in a happy situation. They're not having their dreams come true. They may have pretended that they were wealthy or pretended that their business or their job was going great. It's not. Anyway, there is a message that is coming. It is a heartfelt message. It could be an apology from somebody. This is a card of karma. Karma will hit you right in the bank account. Will hit you in the health department. Will hit you in many ways if you don't act with integrity. So we do have some sort of message that is coming in. It's a welcome message. I think it's been a long awaited message. Somebody was pretending. They were being superficial. They were avoiding. But now it's like they're ready to be judged. They're going to be judged. They're, this, is, this is truth coming out. So some sort of truth is coming out. This is the end of things. The judgment is the end of things. Absolution life-changing decision so somebody is making a life date changing decision based on the truth and it's going to be there's going a, a heartfelt message is coming it's going to make you feel conflicted this person has been doing their research they've been thinking about it and they've been waiting before they deliver this message but the message is coming good luck